Good day everyone. In this video, we are going to talk about how to calculate the standard deviation of a set of group data and how to compare and interpret two or more set of group data based on measure of dispersion. Let's get straight to the example. The frequency table below show the lifespan in years of plan A battery. Calculate the standard deviation for its lifespan in years. First, we build up a table for easy calculation. From the table, we have 5 classes of lifespans in years of plan A battery 0 0.1 to 0 0.5, 0 0.6 to 1.0, 1.1 to 1.5, 1.6 to 2.0, and 2.1 to 2.5. The second column tells us about the frequency of those values. So this means that 10 batteries have a lifespan between 0.1 to 0.5 year. 21 batteries have a lifespan between 0.6 to 1 year and so on. 15, 8 and 6. How can we calculate the standard deviation in this group data? The first thing we need to do is determine the midpoint of the class ranges. To find the midpoint, put it as x value. We basically need to average the two numbers 0.1 and 0.5. So we add up the numbers 0.1 and 0.5. Then divided by 2, the answer is 0.3. Now we average 0.6 and 1 for second class. That's going to give us 0.8. And if we follow the pattern, we can see the next one is going to be 1.3, 1.8, and 2.3. Next, we are going to multiply the frequency column by the midpoint column. This is going to be f times x, that is fx. 10 times 0.3 is 3. 21 times 0.8 is 16.8. 15 times 1.3 is 19.5. 8 times 1.8 is 14.4. And 6 times 2.3 is 13.8. For the next column, list down the values of x squared. 0.3 squared, that is 0.3 times 0.3 equals to 0.09. 0.8 squared is 0.64. 1.3 squared, we have 1.69. 1.8 squared is 3.24. And 2.3 squared, we get 5.29. The last column, we are going to multiply the frequency column by the x square column. Hence times 0 0.09 is 0 0.9. 21 times 0 0.64 is 13.44. 15 times 1.69 is 25.35. 8 times 3.24 is 25.92. And 6 times 5.29 is 31.74. After we have computed all the values, then find the sum of frequency 10 plus 21 plus 15 plus 8 plus 6 the total of frequency is 60 next we find the sum of fx 3 plus 16.8 plus 19.5 plus 14.4 plus 13.8 the sum of fx is 67.5 lastly the sum of fx square 0 0.9 plus 13.44 plus 25.35, plus 25.92, plus 31.74. The sum of fx square is 97.35. With all the summation values, we try to find out the mean, that is, sum of fx divided by sum of f, 67.5 divided by 60. We have 1.125. To calculate the standard deviation, Substitute the summation values into the formula. The standard deviation equals to square root of 97.35 divided by 60 and minus the square of mean 67.5 divided by 60. Compute by calculator that is going to give us the square root of 0 0.3569. Square root the number, the standard deviation is 0 0.5973. This is how we calculate the mean and standard deviation by using a table to compute the value we need. Then substitute the summation values we found into the formula. To consolidate the working step of calculation, let's work out more examples about it. 
we calculate the mean and standard deviation of brand B battery which related to the question before. Then, compare and interpret two set of group data based on measure of dispersion. First, set up a table, fill in the information given, and the value we have found before, the midpoints, and the x square values too. For the third column, multiply the frequency by the midpoint, fx. 4 times 0.3 is 1.2, hence times 0.8 is x. Just repeat the pattern, we get 22.1, 36, and 20.7. And the last column, fx square, 4 times 0 0.09 is 0 0.36. And repeat the pattern, we get 6.4, 28.73, 61.5, 64.8 and 47.61 Then, find the sum of frequency that is 60 The sum of fx that is 88 And the sum of fx square 147.9 The mean for battery B is 88 divided by 60 is 1.4667 and the standard deviation is the square root of 147.9 divided by 60 and minus the square of 88 divided by 60. We get square root of 0.3137, that is 0.5601. With all the information we get, compare with the mean and standard deviation of battery A and B. The mean of battery A is 1.125 with standard deviation 0 0.5973 and the mean for battery B is 1.4667 with the standard deviation of 0 0.5601 Battery B is better and lasts longer because the larger means implies that the lifetime is longer and the smaller standard deviation implies that the lifetime is more consistent Here comes the end Thank you for your participation and see you next time.